This, ladies and gentlemen, is Asako's Trace One HD Dual 1080p Car DVR with Sony Starvis technology. Sony is a pretty reputable, uh, not only camera company, but just technology company in general, so I have no doubts that this will be a pretty good little uh, dash cam, and that's what this is today. We're reviewing the Asako uh, Trace One dash cam. I thought I'd do this one outside because, well, it is a car uh, dash cam, and believe it or not, I actually like cars. Uh, you know, I do play fours on this channel, but uh, I do try to keep my very own car uh, pretty clean. And, uh, you know, I was just washing my car, and then this package came in the mail. And, uh, you know, Asako actually sent this out to me for free just to do a review on it. And, of course, um, with these uh, reviews where they send them out to me, I try to keep them as uh, unbiased as possible. I've never actually owned a dash cam, but you know, obviously uh, the point of a dash cam is to capture what's outside and this one's 1080p and stuff and uh, it should be uh, pretty decent. Dash cams are especially good if you end up in an accident and you will have a uh, footage recorded. Anyways, we're gonna do a little unboxing of this dash cam and then we're gonna actually get into a review of it. So I usually do some pretty silly reviews on my channel, but I feel like every once in a while we have to do a pretty serious one. Now I know I'm using a plastic knife to open this, but it's really all I had laying around around. Let's just get the plastic off. The packaging seems to be pretty professional looking, so we will take it out like this. And here we go. Some nice uh, packaging with this one. Quick reference guide. And here we can actually see the dash cam itself. It's pretty light right now, but that is because it doesn't actually have a battery because it's just going to be running off your car. There is the uh, dash cam. Got some buttons on the side of it. It kind of looks kind of like a GoPro. It's very GoPro style. It has a front uh, camera and a back camera, so it will record the driver as well as in front of the driver so you get a pretty much 360 degree style thing and we got our general cables some mounting stuff and some general cables sticky thing to actually mount the dash cam so i'm gonna get this set up and i'll get right back to you guys all right well welcome inside my car everyone all right now we're gonna be setting this thing up it has a quick start guide so it should be pretty easy to set up all right uh reading this we do have to do a little bit of a wire routing it's pretty simple though i'm gonna go through it in this video we have everything that we need all right first thing we have to do is take the film off of uh your asako camera all righty i know some people really love this kind of stuff and you know, with everything said, it really is a nice looking little dash cam. I like the GoPro style. Now the first thing we actually have to do is we have to take this off. Now you can use your fingernails. Now you have to kind of get in this little groove up here, but you can use your fingernails or you can use their included tool. So obviously we just kind of get in here like this and sort of open it up like that. All right, next step is to put the mounting tool onto your Asako camera. Now it's just going to fit in or fit on like that. And as you can see, this little tool rotates and you can mount it however you want. All right, so I'm gonna be mounting this thing right here. Now you really don't want this thing to get in your way while you drive, so I'm gonna mount it down more maybe around here. And there's this little knob on the side that we can twist to lock it, as you can see. So I'm gonna lock it right now. Now it should be locked onto my dash. Now you can put it down here. You can put it up more. A lot of people are gonna be putting it up more. Now the next step is to get power to this thing. I'm gonna route the wires all the way down on the sides here towards the trim and eventually route it into here where I have one of those cigarette lighter plugs. Basically a uh, power outlet style plugs like this one. So now you can see it's plugged in at the top. All right, now I really don't think that this wire is currently long enough uh, for my setup, but it definitely would be long enough. I use the uh, power outlet that's all the way down here. And I don't like how the plug's on the top, but they're very minor inconveniences and you can get over them. All right, now our next step is going to be putting the memory card in. This thing takes micro SD cards. And you just put it in like so. All right, now our next step is going to be turning the car on and starting this thing up. So just delivering power to the car by turning the key once. We should actually be able to deliver power to our Asako here. All right, now that it's on, as you guys can see, it is actually recording footage right as it starts up. You don't have to do anything. It actually automatically shuts the screen off for you. You can hit the button to just uh, see what it's recording. As you can see, it's recording inside and outside right now. All right, so now we're going to be going on a little bit of a drive. Hi Megan, I'm just reviewing a dash cam. I really like the uh, fact that there's two perspectives on this dash cam, so even if you get rear-ended, you have evidence of it and everything else. 
Uh, the dash cam records audio. It records even in the nighttime. It has good low light performance from what I have seen. And uh, I'm very happy with that. I think for a dash cam, the uh, two perspective design is almost necessary, uh, especially on preventing uh, unwanted cases with crashes and stuff like that. And you know, keeping a good driving record. I feel like if you have a dash cam or get a dash cam like this for your uh, new driving kid, they will. Uh, be inclined to drive maybe a little bit more safely and maybe uh, think twice about making a uh, bad or rash decision while driving. I really like the GoPro style of this dash cam. I know people have actually tried to make GoPros into dash cams uh, before and uh, I really think this is the uh, good all around solution uh, to that problem because let's be honest if you do end up into an accident and everyone does at least at some point especially young teenagers it's always good to have a perfect clean record of exactly what happened during that accident. As for build quality, this is a good build quality for a dash cam. The mounting solution is absolutely perfect and out of the way as much as uh, humanly possible and I really like that. But again, I keep bringing this teenager thing up. I think teenagers will really think twice or uh, just drive better if they are being watched. Again, it is a whole trust issue with parents. Maybe that isn't a good idea. I'm not advocating uh, the way that you should be parenting your children or anything like that. But I'm saying for many parents that uh, want to get a dash cam for their kids, this might be a really good solution. The footage uh, that comes off this does seem to be very good and they do have a lot of Sony technology. They even have the Sony noises and everything there. Rasako definitely partnered with Sony to create this dash cam and it really does show. Uh, Sony is very reputable for making good cameras and having good uh, reliable camera technology. I personally like Panasonic. I think they're a perfect medium but Sony definitely isn't bad. I do uh, respect Sony and I do like their products. So Asako, I do say very good job with this dash cam. I've had GoPros and stuff and this delivers definitely GoPro style quality at the very least and trying to make a GoPro into a dash cam is just useless and it's very uh, easy to just end up buying something like this. Dual camera design again absolutely perfect. I wish the wiring was a little bit easier to set up and in general I just think that the wire is too short for a car you know some people have very very big cars and they need a lot of room to work with and make everything fit perfectly inside of your car. Again you can buy another power cord if that's your case um, but I think there should be an option at least to, to opt for a longer uh, power cord. But other than that I really don't have many complaints at all with this dash cam. I think it's a uh, pretty darn awesome. And again, uh, you know, maybe for the springtime or something, if spring is on its way, uh, make, might make a good gift for someone. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please leave it a like. And uh, you know, let me know in the comments if you're thinking about buying a dash cam and if you are going to buy this one. And we are going to turn around. And we can now head out. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Matthew Productions. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.